many things has happened and a lot of things I want to cover in this week's video. The first one, the resin 3D printer or the smallest resin 3D printer, the Light 3DP S1. JG Aura or JG Maker, Artist D Ghost Multicolor and the Artillery Wasp, a remarkable 3D printer or maybe not. Getting the latest news and updates right here on Sakari's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Sakari and this channel is about 3D printing with tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notification button to get the latest videos right in your YouTube alerts. And thanks for being here. Let's start with the first topic, the Light 3D P S1. It's a very small or micro resin 3D printer with the mask stereo lithographic technique for resin printing. This printer is fully based upon an Arduino board. This 3D printer comes as a kit format. It's easy to assemble and making it an enrichment for the users that are going to build this 3D printer together. This resin 3D printer can be found on the crowdfunding side of Crowd Supply. This printer has a simplicity and is low in noise, lightweight and low in cost as well. Some of the specs that I can tell about this resin 3D printer. The machine size is 100 x 100 x 150 millimeters and it weighs less than 350 grams. The printing volume of this resin 3D printer, I have rounded up, it's 45 x 34 x 70 millimeters. The XY resolution is 0.40 millimeters and the Z-axis has a resolution of 0.05 millimeters and 0.01 millimeters. I don't know what that last one is, but it sounds great, I think. This cute little resin 3D printer will be available soon on the Crowd Supply. Check the links in the description of this video. Let's continue with the next topic, the JG Maker Artist D. There were some teasers on Twitter about this already, teasing with some of the nice features of this 3D printer. I'm not going to throw in some names like the 3D Maker Noob and Brian Vines, I didn't say anything at all, but there is a YouTube video where you can see this awesome 3D printer in motion and telling also a little bit about those nice features. This is a direct drive 3D printer. And what you also see on this video are that on both sides, the 3D printer is a bit wider than normal. And that's because the parking that the extruder heads can do or the carriages can do. Because every time when this, this extruder goes into that area, the nozzle gets a wipe because of the metal brushes that are also there. And these extruders are running over lineal rails that are mounted on the X-axis gantry. For the X-axis GJ maker used two stepper motors to move the gantry up and down. I think that is also because of the more weight on the gantry itself, because of the two direct drives. A timing belt makes sure that the lead screws are always synchronized. For both filaments, there are two filament runout sensors placed, so no surprises when you are printing. You know what is also cool about this Maker Artist D? You can exchange by pressing the button on the extruder head, you can change the nozzles with ease. But be careful, don't swap them when the nozzle is still hot. But I think there are some instructions when operating this machine. Further, this 3D printer has a double limit switch for the both sides on the X-axis. Huge magnetic platform to print on and the building volume 
is 310 times 310 times 350 millimeters or 110 times 310 times 310. Simply said, if you are printing a normal print in a multicolor, it's going to be 310 times 310 times 350. But if you are printing in something like mirror mode, then the printing volume is 110 times 310 times 350 millimeters. So have bad size. This 3D printer is going to be available on Kickstarter soon. I'll put the link in the description of this video. The Artillery Wasp. With this remarkable 3D printer, Artillery 3D wants to focus on a low entry and educational market. The Wasp is very yellow or black yellow and this 3D printer has an extruder, a Bowden style extruder sitting on top of the right side of the 3D printer. Just like the filament holder that is also on the right side of the printer. This is a Titan extruder with one cable from the extruder to the carriage. So including the two fan wires, the hot end wires, the thermistor wires and also the Bowden FTE tube is in that same cable. This 3D printer has big leveling knob, knobs which indicates that there is no auto bed leveling on this machine. The building volume is 220 times 220 times 250 millimeters. And it looks like this volume is very popular these days. The printing speeds of this 3D printer are between the 60 and 100 millimeters per second. It has a glass plate build surface, a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, and the printing temperature with this nozzle is up to the 240 degrees Celsius. For the hotbed, it's not very clear till which temperature it goes, but 80 degrees Celsius is reached within the three minutes. And also this 3D printer, like everybody else, is a 32-bit mainboard. There are no links at this moment for me to share, but if I would have, then you will see it in the description of this video. As you can see, the 3D printing world is not standing still and is at full speed. And this is just the beginning. More and more people are discovering the world of 3D printing, the possibilities, the things they can make. And with all of these new and upcoming machines, it's getting better and better. This video is supported by these Patreon supporters, Tony and Shannon. Thank you for your support. You can also join by supporting this channel. Check the link in the description of this video. If you made it this far in this video, thank you, you are amazing. On the end card, there are some recommended videos that are worth watching. Please like this video, share this video with other people, and I will see you next time. And hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Sakri 3D prints. Bye-bye.